hi guys welcome back once again to my channel if you are new here my name is kendi and this is open up with kenny here on this channel nothing has changed we still talk about faith fashion lifestyle travel experience and of course live experience in estonia if those are the contents that you like you might just want to subscribe to this channel and enjoy with us okay so since it's valentine season and valentine is in two days yes we are in the spirit of love <laughs> and we are in the atmosphere of love as you can see <laughs> some touch of red over here <laughs> left right and center <laughs> okay so i love love i love the celebration i love the vibes i love the energy that goes around on valentine's day uh mostly february as a whole and trust me this is not because it's even my birthday month but because i'm just a lover of love <laughs> and i really get really hyped during this season Couple with the fact that this is my bread month and my birthday is in like 14 days or less than 14 days anyways <laughs> that being said let's go into today's topic <laughs> okay so today's topic is um the simple ways to know what gift to give on valentine's day i'll say it again the simple ways to know what gift to give on valentine's day so let's get right into it <laughs> to know what gift to give somebody is no other way than knowing their love language yes i think that's like the ideal way to know and the way people just think that oh valentine's day is all about giving gifts and it has to be like a present or you have to go and buy something is so crazy and very delusional for me the simple ways to know how to gift somebody is to know their love language and so that will take us back to stating the love language yes you can never hear enough of this because a lot of times when people hear valentine they just think that oh you have to physically present a gift to whoever your partner your friend your fiance your husband better half you know and sometimes it's not the truth for me personally one of my love language is gifts and i would naturally give somebody my friends gifts because that is my love language so I marry somebody who doesn't, he's not, that is not his love language. He believes in heart of service, he believes in all of those things. And then every time I give gifts, it's not really like eating it for him. Yeah, he appreciates it, but he's not crazy. Just the way I go crazy with gifts. He's not very hard. Even when I go above and beyond to give the gifts, it does, doesn't, it doesn't show that, oh, that kind of thing that I will show. And it's not very important that you know your spouse's or your fiancé, your friend's love language before you give them anything, especially if you want the gift to count. So now we're going to go back to reading the five love languages by Gary Chapman, if you've not read it before, if you don't have any idea of what the love language is, this is the time to go and dig deeper because you want to give love in a way that your partner, your friend, your family, your fiancé would understand and would love. So one of the love language is words of affirmation. Yes, words of affirmation. And the second one is act of service. Yes, act of service. The third one is receiving gifts that's me and the fourth one is quality time yes quality time that's the fourth one the fifth one is physical touch now see where did how many times did gift appear once <laughs> yeah which means that in, on this valentine's day you don't have to you know try to go and buy gifts if your partner or your fiance or your friends just love to have you around physical touch you don't want to be touching you and be clapping and be doing high five with you and you know maybe your husband do all those intimate stuff then why do you go and spend money to buy gifts like i don't get <laughs> you're wasting money you know buy that gift for yourself if that's your own love language and it's so funny how it's easy for us to project our love language into other people because that is your love language that is how you know how to express love. So when, when you see people that you love or you meet people that you're into, you want to gift them something. That's me. Once I see you, I like you, I'm thinking of what can I buy for this person? It, no matter how little. Now, it doesn't have to be expensive. For me, I would definitely want to get my, fr my friends something. I love gifts and I love to gifting people. So now, what I'm just trying to say is that in this Valentine's season, don't just focus on buying gifts, you know? It's good that you buy gifts, but also make sure they are speaking your spouse, your friends, your fiancés, love language is very important. It might just be you writing a long poem of words of affirmation, of saying, I'm going to dedicate my life to you 
it's for better for worse for stay for go no that's not part of it <laughs> just you know saying those things and pouring out your heart and reading it to them that is their valentine's gift are you guys think what i'm thinking stop stop doing what is not going to give you any applause or what they're not even going to appreciate and for other people it might just be quality time all they need is just netflix and chill imagine you buying that expensive perfume Instead of just next listening and chilling, go and Google that nice movie that has a good rating on Netflix or any other um, <laughs> movie app, you know, and Google and just, you know, buy popcorn, 1.99 cents, <laughs> 1 euro 99 cent popcorn and buy a nice juice, if it's wine that they are drinking, and say, baby, we are Netflixing and chilling in this season and they would appreciate it so much, they would never forget because that's their love language. So try not to you know, project your love language into your partner, your friend, this season. So imagine another person is just like out of service. They just want you to say, baby, you want to fold your clothes. Some people, their, their wardrobe is a mess, you know? And you say, okay, on this Valentine's Day, I'm just going to fix my husband's, my friends, my spouse, my fiance's wardrobe. <laughs> Valentine gifts. I just drop a note that baby this is your valentine gift or oh, oh, so 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 personal this is a valentine gift imagine instead of buying all those expensive things and going above and beyond yeah that's how you love it but that might not be how they love it for the last time i'm going to now explain all these love languages to you and then we can wrap up this conversation and make sure to have fun <laughs> this valentine so the number one is words of affirmation just write poem, write all those genuine, not that one that go and pick on the internet though. <laughs> you can even go and pick on the internet and just tweak it a bit and just write nice things that the person have done to you and how much you appreciate them and how much you want them in your life. Words of affirmation. This is not gifts. This is not, it is not a uh, surprise, surprise Valentine cake or teddy bear. <laughs> Words of affirmation. And the second one is act of service. Like I mentioned earlier, you can just decide to clean the house, clean the wardrobe for the person, you know, or just say, oh, baby, maybe it's even work project or something that they are doing. And maybe they are like an accountant and the person is doing a project that has to do with accounting and he has been lamenting. You can just say, you know, baby, this Valentine's Day, I'll help you to do all the accounting on your project. And that's your Valentine gift. Are you getting me? Out of service. Be willing to do something for them. Oh, baby, I'm going to wash all your sneakers. This Valentine's Day, that's your Valentine gift. You know, it, it, they are little, little things. They look insignificant. But for some people, it is everything to them. Yeah, you are showing, telling them, I love you. Then the third one is receiving gifts. You know, and see, this gift of a thing self is not even that deep. Like, it could be the tiniest thing. You know, I, it could be like, maybe just, you see that person has just one and uh, glove. Just one. And you say, okay, you, see, you have a lot of orange clothes. I'm going to buy you another orange one so that you stop wearing the black one. Do you understand? Like, it doesn't even have to be expensive. You can say, oh, this person really loves perfume. And I know that this person will like perfume. I'm going to get them a perfume. It might even be a 10 euro perfume. Do you understand? That, that's gifting for me. That's gifting. Like, you look at me and say, oh, you need this thing. You can say, oh, Kenny, I'll be wearing this to your brand jacket. This is a whopper. <laughs> it's all Koya. Take black. I mean, take pink, take green, because I like colors, you know? It's because of you people are wearing this uh, black and a touch of this. Let me show you that Valentine is in the hair. It's in all those little things. And the first one is quality time. Please, I know time is of essence. That's why some people would definitely appreciate you. Like when you take out time to help them babysit, when you take out time to just chill with them or have girls and girls with them, they are very happy. You're speaking their love language. And when you say, oh, babe, let's come, let me come to your place. I will just Netflix and chill. That is their love language. They would appreciate it and they would talk about it all year long. Oh, do you remember the way we went to that girl's hangout? Do you remember when you came to my house to Netflix and chill? I loved it. La, 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 la. You know, some people are like that. And that is love language. Please, where is money in that place? Where is guilt in that statement? Now, that's the fourth word, quality time. And the last but not the least is physical touch. Now, this doesn't even have to be intimate. If you're married, yes. <laughs> yes, you can. But if you're not married, it, just, it can just be like just, you know, sitting or having or hugging your friends or just having a nice time with them or just rubbing hands, having a high five. It could be all those little, little insignificant things that you don't 
recognized, that you don't think that are important, what to them is everything. Some people just hugging them makes their day. Like, ah, oh, thank you for the hug. You don't know what you did with that hug. It's just endless hug. Because one of their love languages is physical touch. And for somebody whose um, love language is physical touch, they will always show, you will know. I know somebody personally <laughs> that their love language is physical touch, you know? And they don't know. <laughs> and and, and I, it's understandable. I know for men, most of them don't like to have this conversation of uh, five love languages, but this is for you. Who is the spouse? Who is the fiancé? To help them figure it out so that you can love them the right way, so that you can love them the appropriate way. Okay? <laughs> so I hope with all this, my talk talk, I have been able to encourage you not to just focus on the gifting aspect and just, you know, think about so many possible ways. What do means? Other love languages your partner, your friends are speaking. You know, some of them, it doesn't require too much to plan. Some of you are going to buy a gift that will not be deeply appreciated. So stop it, this Valentine. Make sure you speak the love language and be creative and be sincere about it. Some of you, you are not, you don't want to do any stress. It's the same gift over and over again. It gets boring when you do that. So be creative about it and make sure to give somebody this Valentine. You know, whether you have a spouse or you don't. If you don't have a spouse or if you're not in a relationship, give yourself. Take care of yourself and be happy. Okay? And if you manage to stay to the end of this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.